I give you all the glory. Jesus, I give you all the praise. I give you all adoration. I give you all my praise. Good morning. Welcome to Jessila TV. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. This is a channel where we encourage you to establish a personal relationship with the Almighty God. Yahweh is His name. Jehovah is His name. Who incarnated His Spirit, His Self, in His Son, Jesus Christ, to be the propitiation for our sins. And the Holy Spirit that Jesus lives in us when he, we have an encounter with Him. And John 14, 1 says, Believe your heart must not be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. And we are going to be reading. Uh, reading from Romans chapter 8. In this channel, we encourage you to always pray before you read your Bible. So that the Almighty God and the Spirit uh, in you, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus will come to minister to you. What message you want you to derive from the reading? So if you are new to this channel, we welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray that you will find faith in the Almighty God, God the Spirit, and in Jesus Christ who died for us. Jesus is human like us. He, he had a human flesh. God incarnated himself in his son Jesus Christ to be the propitiation for our sins so that he's legal and he dwells amongst us. Jesus is both flesh and spirit and he is the savior of the world. And at this time of all over the world, we who know and have had an encounter with Christ, we know that there is nothing impossible for Jesus to do. There is nothing impossible for our mighty God to do. And he says to us that we are in the world, but not of the world. He says he knows his own, and his own knows his voice. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Yahweh is your name, Jehovah is your name. We come before you. All those, everyone is made in your image. And all those who profess Jesus as Lord and personal Savior, we say, Father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we come before you this morning and we say, hear us as we intercede for the whole world. Jesus, you prayed. You said, I do not pray for the whole world. I pray for those whom you have given me. And those who have, whom you have given me, I have not lost anyone except the son of perdition, Judas. Father, we are coming to you this morning and we say, Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon the world. This virus going on. Father, you know your own and your own knows your voice. Father, we pray that you will keep evil away from us and you will keep us away from evil. Our going out and our coming in is ordained by you. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that anywhere we are become solid ground. And we pray that people will come to you and profess you as their Lord and personal Savior. Have your way, O Lord. We are saved. We are people of power. You have given us all the authority. In Matthew 28, verse 18, you said, All authority has been given to you, both in heaven and on earth. And you ask us in verse 19, Matthew 28, 19, that we should go therefore and Make disciples of all nations. Father, empower us. Let us know, remember who we are in Christ. We are people, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us the spirit of power and of love and of sound mind. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray this morning. Amen. Romans 8. Therefore, Romans 8 from chapter, uh, verse 1. Therefore, no condemnation now exists for those in Christ Jesus, because the Spirit's law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. Praise the Lord. What the law could not do, since it was limited by the flesh, God did. He condemned sin in the flesh by sending his own Son in flesh, like ours, under, under sin's domain, and as sin, and as a sin offering. Praise the Lord. Jesus. You are our propitiation. You have taken all the sins of the world and you have set us free. 
and we know who we are in you, Christ Jesus. We will not touch you, evil will not touch us. Our children, our grandchildren, our sons in laws, our daughters, our spouses, they are safe in your hand. Whatever we put in your hand, Lord Jesus, is safe. And anyone who professes you as Lord Jesus is safe. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Protect us, Lord, from all evils. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Verse 4, Romans 8, verse 4. In order that the Lord's requirement will be accomplished in us who do not walk according to flesh, but according to the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.